welcome all of you in this lecture we are going to see automation hierarchy and basic component component in automation system okay then first we see automation hierarchy you can see this is the diagram of automation hierarchy or it can be known as automation pyramid okay in this there are total five levels first field level control level networking level supervisory level and management level okay now we see first field level okay field level is the innermost level of this automation hierarchy in this level there are many devices used means components are used like sensor push button actuator and lamp this devices are interface with the floor works or floor activ activity means for example we can say temperature sensor now temperature sensor is field level device now what it will do it take temperature or it convert that temperature into electrical signal and that signal is given to this control level or it may be pressure sensor level sensors or it may be actuators lamp okay this devices are come in the field level okay now see next is the control level now this control level is the intelligent process control means from field level it take the data and process it means from this it gives the uh, temperature first we take the example of temperature sensor then temperature sensor give equivalent or proportional signal to the temperature to this control device now this control device take action according to that inputs okay so then it may be to turn off that device or turn on other devices or turn on the fan or turn on the cooling system like that means if we take here some uh, if we we want to heat some object to 80 degree now at the 80 degree it gives means it's continuously monitoring and when it goes to the 80 degree then it gives signal to the control level and at the 80 degree from control uh, level devices it gives signal to other devices like cooling system or it turn on turn off that heating system like this this work is done by this control level then what is the control level in control level it may be plc or pac or it may be the embedded system now what is the plc plc is the programmable logic controller or pac pac is the programmable automation controller or it may be the embedded controller now this embedded controller or plc is selected according to this field level devices means how much or how many devices we have to control means if there are 10 input devices and 10 output devices in field level then we have to select for example we take plc then we have to select plc which have minimum 10 inputs and 10 output and that type of means if field devices is uh, analog type then it, this analog it will have analog input or we have to connect in between that analog to digital converter okay so according to devices in field level we have to take or we have to connect the control level devices like plc pac or embedded system okay now next level is the networking level then you can see that networking level it connects control level and supervisory level okay networking level connect control level and 
supervisor is. Then what is the networking level? It transfer data. It transfer data from control level to the supervisor level. Means it transfer data from PAC, PLC or embedded system to the supervisor level. It may be the Ethernet system, that is Ethernet protocols or it may be the other industrial proto protocols like Modbus, Profibus, Device Net or Control Net. Hmm? This type of protocols are used to transfer data from control level to the supervisor level. Okay. Now let's see what is the supervisor level. Okay. In supervisor level, it monitors all control levels or other control level connected in that industry. Okay. They have to monitor and it may be system used like HMI means human machine interface or SCADA system is come in this supervisory level that SCADA means supervisory control and data acquisition system supervisory control and data acquisition system or it may be DCS means distribution control system okay. then here in supervisory control all the network from all network in the industry is connected to this supervisory level okay then next and final level is the management level then it is the uppermost level in this hierarchy and it interface with the supervisor level to monitor data from field okay it analyze it analyzes data from this supervisor level and its plan production sale and service for example we have to manufacture some product then according to management level it give the requirement of production to the supervisor level from supervisor level it is connected to the control level means we have to uh, produce 100 products and now we complete the 50 product after non, then management level decide that we have to produce only 100 product from management level it is give signal is given to the supervisor level in supervisor level they see the how many production or how many product now completed if 50 product completed then is give signal to the control level devices that after this you have to produce only 50 product and after that means after completing the work we have to stop this is the automation hierarchy and according to this automation is work okay now let's see next that is basic component of automation system now these are the three types of basic components that is first is the input devices or sensing element then next is the controllers and last is the output devices or actuator now input devices mean these devices take some signal and it is given to these controllers means it may be sensors transducers manual switches or limit switches okay now these sensors the sensors in input output device it it, it gives the signal or it senses the for example we take the temperature sensor then temperature sensor take the temperature or it convert that temperature into electrical signal and that signal is given to this controller okay or it may be transducer or switches means manual con if some uh, operation are manually then there may be the manual switches are provided or limit switches okay these limit switches uh, is directly or automatically switch on or off according to the limit give in that switches okay next next is the controller 
okay controller what is the controller it is the heart of automation system means main operations means the signal come from this input devices and the processing that is main operation of the system is the processing on that signal or on that data that is done by this controller and then this may be the plc pac or embedded system devices okay now let's see the last component that is output devices or actuator now what is the output devices now actual work the devices that which do the actual work is this output devices means it may be the motor solenoid valves relay timer heating devices alarms indicating lamps or buzzer means for example if we take motor then according to the input if we have if at particular temperature we have to start the motor okay then first from input device that is from sensor it signal is given to the controller and in controller we uh, the program is saved that at which temperature we have to start this motor then if this sensor gives the signal that it is come to that temperature means if it is the 80 degree then controller automatically switch on this output device that that is motor okay it may be motor solenoid valve or relay means if if the, uh, for example we take level control means in level control if you have to start means we have to monitor the one tank lever means here is the level sensor then this level sensor sends the level of first tank then it signal is given to the controller then in controller there is the program that at the particular level means maximum level we have to start the solenoid wall in first tank so that the first tank liquid in first tank goes to the second tank so in this when the sensor sends the signal that it is at maximum level then controller automatically open the solenoid wall in this first tank and that liquid come from first tank to the second tank or it may be indicating lamps buzzers okay heating devices that is output that which actually do the work that is the output devices and input means it gives the data to the or data or signal to this controller and output device means the controller gives signal to this devices means this these are the output device means signal come from input device to controller and from controller to the output device okay like this these are the three type of the component in automation system okay thank you for watching